in one of the largest hospitals in New York, which I will go nameless, but if I said it, you would absolutely know who it is, I went in to give a presentation to their management board on this exact same topic. I walked in to the garage. I parked in their garage. I then walked into a sort of back security area, uh, went to a front desk staffed by volunteers, and then because I was early, Jean had, I think, threatened me or her counterparts had get here early. And then, so I was so early that then I said, okay, why don't you go into the coffee shop? And we're going to talk about this in a moment, but this concept of moments of truth. These were moments of truth. There was an impression that was being made to me about that institution. Interestingly, one of the impressions was when I got to the front desk and asked for the person I was going to go speak to, they did not know who he was, and they said, is it a patient? It was the CEO of the hospital. So they did not know who it was, and they bring out the classic plastic-covered paper sheets and start going through names. Now, this is a major New York hospital. If you're looking up names on a plastic-covered piece of paper, I, I'm really getting nervous because I don't know what then. If, you're, if that's the technology you have, what about what? What about if you really have to do some medical procedure? How is that being done? Is that plastic covered pieces of sheets? Let me just go through the checklist here. What do I do next? You know what I'm saying? So anyway, the point I then made to their executive committee was I said, here's this moments of truth concept. They said, well, no, you're wrong. The garage is, is leased. The security people are rent-a-cops. The people at the front desk are volunteers, untrainable. Uh, the, the restaurant in the lobby is also licensed. So none of those points are moments of truth. None of those are our employees. So what else do you have to talk about Johnson & Johnson? And so this is when your career flashes in front of you. And hopefully, you know, Gene then is without a kicking range. And I said, well, you're wrong. And you're, you're dead wrong. Because who do the people who walk into this hospital think those people represent? Hospital. They think those are your people. This is your hospital, your security guards, your volunteers. And again, volunteers in New York. N volunteers in New York City are usually who? Who are those people? Yeah, old retired, but usually executives or something are very active, bright people. So again, th these are these, this is this, this idea of moments of truth.